Remembering Past Lives. Can we remember our present identity in the next life? And are we going to work on our old problems? The Guide. Whether you will remember your present life in the next one depends very much on yourself. It is indeed a fact that in times to come, when spirituality will have developed so much more, many people will be able to remember their former lives who have not been able to do so until then. But not all of them will be able to do it. You see, there are people today who can, through their development, remember something of a former life. The memory will come to them. And as development advances, more of the curtain will be withdrawn. The higher developed you are, the more you strive for perfection and work spiritually, the more you are capable to know about your past incarnations. Then such knowledge will be used for a good purpose. As for the problems, you are absolutely right. You will deal exactly with the same problems, life after life, until you have solved them. As long as you have not solved a problem in this life, it will come to you in the next, even though your circumstances may be different. You may live in a different country. You may have a different life pattern. Yet the problems will come as long as they have not been solved by you. And what are the problems? They are nothing else but the materialization of your faults. When you purify your faults, your problems will disappear. And when you do not do that, your problems will reappear in other forms in your next life. When we are reincarnated, we have no memory of our previous lives. When we get to the spirit world after this life, do we then have the memory of previous lives? The Guide. That depends entirely on the case, mostly on the development of the entity, and also on some other factors. Generally, as a rule, when souls return to their spiritual home, they will, after a while, not always immediately, sometimes sooner, sometimes later, be in a position to see either the incarnation before their last one, and that they remember in part quite well, or several preceding ones, depending on the case. They may also see the past life plan and how this is connected with previous incarnations. In some cases, it is necessary to see a few incarnations in order to evaluate the task and the cause and effect going from one life to the next. Thus, the personality will see whatever is important for judging and evaluating its progress, or lack of it. Since all entities are trained to become strong in self-evaluation, each soul is always given the chance to pass judgment on itself first, to form plans for activities, for learning, and for purification in the spirit world, as well as for advanced planning for the next incarnation. Only when proper self-evaluation is still lacking do the higher spirits step in. For this purpose, certain past lives have to be uncovered. Whatever is uncovered remains with the spirit in the beyond, and the memory is only taken away during life on earth. When the spirit comes back the next time, other incarnations will be shown to it. Only upon reaching certain important stages of overall development, decisive milestones, is the spirit given the whole chain, its entire life, from the time of its creation and the fall down to each individual existence. That may occur at various high points on the upward path, at every few hundred incarnations or so, there may be such a point. And when the cycle of incarnations is completed, then the degree of consciousness is so raised that it is no longer a question of preventing the struggling soul from gaining harmful and hindering knowledge or helping the soul to regain some favorable knowledge. It will all be there. 
What you then choose to forget is up to you. You forget things, or you consider them useful to remember. That is up to your free will. But when the cycle of incarnations is over and the soul is ready to return home, it is no longer necessary that it be helped forcefully with certain measures to remember as it is done before this stage is reached. Thank you.